Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading I Love You, episode 13 to 14. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get started. After everything I said, why would you offer your phone number? Don't take this the wrong way. I'm not hitting on you. I was merely offering you someone to talk to. Your cold demeanor, I can't help but think it's just a facade. That's just the way I am. Paused was that hesitation. I don't hesitate. Sorry if I misread that pause as hesitation then. But it's not good to bottle everything up inside. You can only hold out for so long until it break you. Until you break. I've been dealt a pretty bad hand in life. I'm used to misfortunes, so I'm not going to break. I won't let that happen. Fine. You're so welcome to join us at our table for breakfast. And I'll stop badgering you. <sighs> Come on, Dieter. The food's here. Eat something. You'll feel better. I don't feel like eating anymore. Not even curry worse will cheer me up. Just let me wallow in my despair. Look, man, I'm sorry. I had no idea. Had I known, I would have never. It's okay, Shushi. It was my fault. I should have told you sooner that she rejected me. Yongi, you're back. Are you alright? You look upset. <sighs> it's nothing. I'm just really tired and hungry. So, what did you order for us, Dieter? The breakfast special. I asked for a pumpernickel on the side. Kasuke is not going to eat with us, so you can take his share. He didn't touch it, right? Nah. Did something happen between you two? Kind of. I was too pushy. I guess she's not eating with us, then. You invited her to sit with us? Mate, you know how awkward that would be? I don't know. I was just hoping she would change her mind. After she got to know Dieter better. You don't need to do that for me. There's nothing we can do about it. Well, she's missing out. What you were trying to do was just beating the dead horse. If we had worked out, Dieter would have a girlfriend and I would have a new buddy. It's a win-win. What about Alyssa? How would she feel if you had a new female friend? You know how jealous girls get? She's not like that. I don't know, mate. I don't think Alyssa would approve of you being friends with a dis disagreeable girl. I still don't even get why you even like her, Dieter. I hope he doesn't see me. Would you look at that? He really is glued to his phone. Oh no. We made eye contact. Can I go fast? <sighs> Miss you. Darn it. May I have a moment of your time? Don't even bother untying your shoelaces. Uh? I am prepared to dodge your footwear attack this time. Don't worry. No one's going to strap you onto a chair this time. Here, let me help you up. What? Keep your guard up, Shanae. What happened to your face? Your redhead friend drew it on me, on it, with marker. Yongi did that to you? Childish, as always. I got some makeup remover spray in my car. I should be able to take that off. Why would you have makeup remover? You wear makeup? Waiter. Dang, that's his car? That costs more than my home. Makeup remover serves as a great woman repellent. Here, this should do the trick. Oh. I didn't get the chance to say this, but thank you for what you did last night. I really appreciate it. Huh? What's going on here? A jerk face Q-tip isn't acting like a jerk face. Perhaps a split personality? Here's your handkerchief back. Keep it. I got plenty of more at home. Is there any way I can return the gesture? Maybe forgive me for ruining your suit? I can't afford to pay for a replacement. Or maybe forgive my friend for tackling you? Don't worry about my suit. I already contacted the designer for a new one. You don't need to pay for it. And I was never going to press charges anyways. 
Then why did you make it seem like a big deal? Did I? Forgive me. An irksome events that preceded our meeting at the buffet left me perturbed. I find sweets very comforting, so when we took the la so when you took the last piece of tiramisu away, it only aggra aggravated my mood. And then there's Yongi's hospitalization at that point. I may have lost my composure. I apologize if I was being discourteous. Uh-huh. In all seriousness, is there anything I can do to repay you? I don't know. I see. Here. What's that? My business card. My contact information is on there. Contact me when you figure out how I can repay you. I would prefer you email me, but calling is fine as well. I really appreciate you taking Yonggi to the hospital and without alerting the authorities. I shall be hearing from you soon then. Thank you for your time, Miss Yu. You're welcome. What just happened? Was that really the Q-tip from the party? <sighs> My goodness. <sighs> Hello, Shashi. I'm heading uh, to a meeting. Yes, I had someone bring his car over. Check the sun visors for the keys. Does he have a nicer twin? At least I know I no. At least I know I don't owe anyone any money. I can keep my organs for now. Ah, I almost forgot about the grocery store. Looks like we're all set for dinner tonight. I hope Papa won't mind hamburgers. It's been so long since we last had our burgers eating contest. Hmm? Her phone. Maya's calling. Looks like she finally woke up. Hello? Shanae, are you busy right now? I'm just out getting some groceries from my dad. Why? I stopped by earlier, but the shop was closed. I overslept. My mom's gonna come back from church soon and the bakery isn't ready yet. Can you come over and help me out? Sure, I'll help you out. But I can't stay for too long. I have some frozen foods. Uh, no worries. You can store them in our fridge. Thanks a ton. I owe you one. Anytime. I'll be there in a few minutes. Uh, thank you so much for helping me get the kitchen ready. My mom would have killed me. No worries. Anything for you guys. You want some cupcakes? It's the least I can give. I can give for all the help. How's your big brother, by the way? He didn't send me a text message earlier this morning. He usually does, so it's kind of it was odd not hearing from him. I'm sure he was just busy. And speaking of, I have something for you from him. Something for me? Yep, all the way from America. Here we go. He didn't tell me what he got you because he knows I can't keep a secret. But he gave me a br charm bracelet with a little bean. Isn't it cute? What did he get you? It's a deep dish phone charm. Deep dish? What is that? It's a Chicago style pizza I really want to try so badly. Min Hyuk, Min Hyuk sent a picture of the, the other day and it looks heavenly. And we have pizza here too. Wow, that looks so good. All that cheese. I know, right? Min Yuk sends me pictures of the food that he eats all the time. I want to try the deep dish pizza the most. Uh, do you think you can help whip one up one day? A deep dish pizza? Sure. We should try making one with Rika at some point in the future. Maybe during a sleepover, you know? That would be fun. Was that phone charm all he gave you? The box is unnecessarily big. Way too wasteful, big bro. Huh, <laughs> you're right. There's something else in here. What is that? It's a he headband with a piece of, print. piece of print. This is awesome. <laughs> it suits you. He definitely knows what you like. Do you think he's still awake? We should do a vo video chat with him right now. <gasps> Let me go grab my laptop from upstairs. There we go. Calling Park Min Hyuk. I don't think it's that late where he lives. Hey, big bro. Were you sleeping? Sorry if we woke you. Why, did something happen? You never do video calls. Someone's here to see you. <gasps> Min Yuk, what's up, boy? Shanae! Hey, hey. <laughs> They're two little dorks. Okay, I'm waiting to 14. 
Let's go. Boy, what you doing? Girl, what you doing? Oh. What you up to, boy? What you up to, girl? Can you two stop that already? You both making me cringe really hard. Ah, uh, sorry. I haven't seen this guy in ages. I couldn't help it. It's only been a few months and... Don't you both message each other regularly? It's texting your best bud is different from seeing them. So, what's up with the video call? We both just wanted to say hi. Hello, Mr. Min Hugh Park. How's the college life treating you? Hello to you, Miss Shanae Yu. My college life isn't too bad, thanks for asking. Did you receive a present? I hope they were in good taste. Yes, I did. I fancy the presents you gave me, and let me just say, please stop. They're awesome as heck. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, you two, let's talk like normal people now. You're just jealous you and Rika aren't as tight as me and Shanae. Anyway, anything new on the side of the, of the planet? On the other side of the planet? Same old, same old. Oh, I do want your opinion on something. What's up? This guy asked me to be his friend. Okay. And? Remember the redhead from the burger place? That guy? Who? Fill me in, guys. It's just this guy that keeps reappearing even after I tried to disinterest him. We first met at this burger joint the past Friday, then at Rika's dad's work party last night. And then again at a cafe this morning. He keeps coming back into your life. It's a sign. Don't you start now. You make it so easy. I'm just playing with you. You know that. Back on topic. He's being sort of persistent about the friend thing. He even tried to bribe me with food. I found it weird. Yeah. Considering all the stuff people say about you in school. You know, that you're a dumb, short-tempered, tempered, abrasive, glutton. And don't get me started on all the rumors. I don't know why anybody would want to be friends with you. Cheer up, Shanae. I was just being sarcastic. You know most of it isn't true. If you weren't a good person, we wouldn't be here hanging out now, would we? You know what? Maybe that's why he's being persistent. He probably deals with plenty of butt kissers in his, if his family has money. Maybe he doesn't have too many good friends. Probably. He even offered me his phone number. That's very forward of him. And maybe desperate? Personally, I think you should accept this offer for friendship. You're only saying that because you think he's hot. Okay, you got me there. But whatever, did you take his phone number? Yeah, about that. I told him I didn't want it. We had a disagreement. What? Your face. What about my face? Do you regret your decision? I do not regret my decision, but I'll admit, I feel bad for being too harsh towards them. He was only trying to help. <laughs> Why don't you try something interesting? It wouldn't hurt to have a new friend, right? Get to know him or something. Try to see why he wants to be friends so badly. What? Hang out with his buddies. Here's the thing. His German friend likes me and I turned him down. Now that's awkward. Okay then, scratch that. Man, I really wanted to know why someone would try so hard to be friends with you, Shanae. Now, we'll never find out because this girl over here didn't take the darn number. And forget about asking the German kid, Oh, hey, I know you like me and stuff, but I want to know more about your friend. Yeah, that would be terrible. Actually, there might be someone else we could contact. The guy you tackled at the hospital. I have his business card. Why? Maya, you tackled someone? Guilty. That was really cool, by the way. You gotta teach me that move. Ask Minhyuk. He taught me. Why give you his business card in the first place? He told me to contact him once I figure out a way he could repay me. He wants to return a favor for taking the redhead to the hospital without telling anyone. It's a weird thing to be grateful for, but to be honest. Oh, may I see the card? It should be in my dad's jacket. I hung it on one of those chairs. What? Hirahara? I tackled someone from that, from that family? <gasps> Don't they own several establishments? Rika's dad works for them too. 
Don't worry, the guy said he wasn't going to press charges. Really? <gasps> what a relief. Maya, you may need to be careful next time. If you had heard and seen the same thing I did, you would do the same thing. It was all messed up. Hey, I'm going to be heading out soon. My dad's probably wondering why I'm taking so long. Mind if I use the toilet? You know, you're like family to us. No need to ask. Okay, I'll be right back. Hehehe. <laughs> why are you laughing? I have an idea. While well, she's in the toilet. Let's call the number on the card. Check her jacket for her phone. Ah, uh, but the password is protected. It's so long too. What the heck? Any idea what her passcode might be? How should I know? Just try out the phone number into her favorite pizza place or something. Click. Oh, it worked. Really? Of course she would. What are you waiting for? Dial the number. Who knows? She'll get uh, back from the toilet. Chill. Just chill, bro. Sir, your mother is asking for your whereabouts. I'll be there soon. I just went home to get changed. I wouldn't want to be in the same clothes I wore at the party during the meeting. Just tell my mother not to worry. Assistant J. I'll be there on time. Understood, sir. Hirahara Corporation. Kusuke. Huh? I finally found you. Why'd you leave me on my on my own at the party. That was so mean. Meg, what's with that luck? How did you know I would be here? Who let you in the building? Who, who let you in the building? I have to re reprimand that employee. Just relax. I asked your father for a visitor's pass and he happily gave me one. Father did? What's wrong, honey? You're not happy to see me? Please refrain from calling me with any kind of term of endearment. Why can't I? I thought we were getting close last night. Didn't you have fun with me? Fun? You got drunk. You followed me everywhere. You tried to touch me in places I didn't want to be touched. And you tried to take my dessert away from me. Now leave me alone. Okay, I'll admit. I had a few too many drinks. But we should at least treat each other nicely. We could be in-laws one day, you know. Let's acquaint ourselves with each other. Maybe over a cup of coffee right now? I have a meeting to attend in a few minutes. Seriously? The morning after a party? Fine. Then how about this Saturday? Your assistant said you are free that day. Can we discuss this at a later time, please? Oh, is your brother calling you? I'd love to say hello. This phone is company property. I cannot let you touch it. <laughs> Fine. I don't recognize his phone number. Ugh. It's darling. It's really darling. Won't Shanae get mad at us for this? So, that's nothing new. But messing with a rich dude? This is all in good fun. Calm down. Put the phone on speaker. I want to hear everything. Hello? He picked up? <gasps> Help me out, bro. I've never done anything like this before. What should I say? Just say anything. You're on the one. You're the one on the phone. Uh, hello, is this Mr. Hirahara? Speaking, speaking. May I ask from whom am I receiving this call from? Um, this is um Shanae Yu. Oh, Miss Yu, that was rather quick. Have you come up with something? I didn't think I would be hearing from you this soon. You should. You sound very different over the phone. What now? This isn't supposed to be hard. You can't think it when I'm panicking. Miss you? I can't. Dang. Dang it, Maya. This is why I do pranks with Shanae. Miss you, are you right? I wish I was back there so I could do it myself. Miss you, are you still there? Did you come up with uh, of something or not? Um, what would you like to me to do? Let's meet. Excuse me? Let's meet up. Let's meet up. Meet up. All right. Okay, my head. Okay, so I'm a little bit annoyed with that. Why did they prank call him without any of like, with any idea of why they're prank calling? Like, or you know, sometimes people prank call like, "Hey, I'm calling about your refrigerator warranty or something about your car warranty or something." 
But like, man, her friend sucks at doing prank calls. And I would be so annoyed. Like, hello? You're like, you're really going to like prank call like got a rich guy here? <sighs> and I don't know. Um, that girl that was there, uh, annoying him, Q-tip guy. Oh, what's that all about? Are they in a relationship or? <laughs> I'm so confused. All right, guys, my brain is still trying to process what I just read, but if you guys enjoy the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!